I am Trevor Boyd, a geological consultant who has authored the initial 43101 technical report for the Ferguson Lake project. We're looking at this as a PGE, platinum group element opportunity, with palladium as the main driver. There's also a significant platinum in the deposit, and there are some rhodium numbers which are encouraging. So these deposits we have like copper, nickel, and cobalt. Those are like kind of three uh, more common metals that you find. Of course, iron and stuff like that will be a huge component of the rock. Right now, in terms of value, the palladium in the deposit is worth more than the nickel. And that's what makes it very exciting. When the project was purchased, the price of palladium was less than $800. Now it's on the order of $2,000. My name is Elizabeth Ronacher. I am the principal geologist at uh, Ronacher McKenzie Geoscience. And Canadian uh, North Resources uh, engaged us to uh, complete a site visit and a technical report on Ferguson Lake. One of the tasks was to review the historic drill core and to sample the drill core in order to confirm the assays that have uh, been returned previously. There's about 650 holes that have been drilled over the last, I think, 50 years or something like that in the area. There's a potential for increasing the value of the project just from analyzing the old core. The uh, independent technical report that exists on the property has been updated with a new resource estimate and backed up with the work that we do on the samples, on the quality control, the vegetation, the climate, all items that are part of the National Instrument 43101. We will be testing areas down dip the West Zone, but we'll also be trying to bring the deposit to the surface in areas where it's been under drilled. If you focus on what we call hot spots, we can increase the quality and the size of the resource more efficiently. We're looking at a plan view of the mineralized zone for Ferguson Lake deposit. It can be followed on surface along the shores of Ferguson Lake before it continues long strike into the lake all through across the lake until you get to the west zone. You can see it on surface two kilometers until western central end of the west zone plunges to the west and you can no longer see it on surface but the deposit continues for another three or four kilometers as far west of what they call the 119 zone. By the time you're delineating it here it's about a thousand meters deep and but it's open to open to the west, open to the east, and open down dip. So it's, it's a huge deposit. In those areas, we need to have detailed and more concentrated drilling. So that way, we can also be able to have a better understanding of the platinum group element content and be able to quote that number in a resource model. The camp is in good shape. They built that new camp here in uh, 2006. It's a 55 person fully serviced camp, which can be used in both summer and winter, all season. We have a 2,700 foot airstrip, long enough to be able to land Dakota sized aircraft. We've been putting a lot of uh, work upgrading it for this coming drill program. We have uh, a large garage full of heavy equipment. We have a couple of 25-ton CAT 250 haul truck, a 950 loader, CAT 287 skid steer, a 320 excavator, and a D5 dozer. Our main generator is very good. That's a fairly new generator. It uh, could last quite a while yet. We have all this equipment. It's given us a real boost in terms of moving the project forward at a relatively minor cost. We came in as a totally unknown entity, so we have been working hard to build a relationship, particularly with the Kivalik Inuit Association, who provided us with the commercial permit, the quarry permit, the right-of-way over land permit. The property itself is on Inuit-owned land's surface rights. We're very aware of that any concerns that they bring to us with respect to management and responsibility of working on this land. We have hired uh, local people to help us maintain and work the camp, particularly with the heavy machinery. So these are not just uh, laborers, these are skilled technicians. The community understands the positive 
aspects of this, the Melodine Gold Mine is now producing in Rankin Inlet. The economic benefits of that are, are, are being circulated through the town. We maintain the strict environmental protocols while at the camp in terms of our waste management. We have a mandate to not disturb local wildlife. We will hire a wildlife monitor uh, out of Rankin Inlet to make sure that, that the camp maintains proper protocols with respect to the wildlife in the area. Life in this camp is very good because, because of the facilities and because of the people. We have a, a friendly group. The people at Nuna are very skilled, particularly in upgrading and fixing electrical equipment within the camp so that every single piece of heavy machinery is operating at its best capacity. The machinery is one thing, the camp and, and, and the airfield. Uh, those three assets make this a very valuable project.